Well, I'm super excited today to present to you some powerful functionality uh, going GA uh, in winter 25 for CRM analytics. And it's something that will enable you to much more easily and quickly go from data to insight to action. So let me show you what this looks like. And you might think of this uh, use case example, uh, perhaps as one of a service manager who's looking to improve the uh, efficiency and performance of uh, his team. So uh, you can see here that as a manager, I'm looking at a dashboard and I can see that Bill Johnson uh, is overloaded with service cases. I drill into that list to uh, find out uh, what the breakdown of that cases looks like. In this case, I want to transfer all of the manufacturing cases from Bill uh, to uh, Ashley, who's a real whiz at manufacturing. Now, I don't want to transfer uh, any cases um, that relate to questions, because I want to keep those with Bill. So I'm going to use the new does not contain operator to filter those out. I also want to sort the table using quick sort from the column header. I wasn't able to do that before. Uh, because this table has bindings, but that has also been recently um, uh, fixed by uh, the Salesforce team. So now I'm able to view the cases that I want to transfer from Bill to Ashley. Now, in order to transfer bulk records, partic particularly a large number of them, used to get quite complicated and often require a developer to build out Visual Force page, uh, Apex classes, etc. But that's all done very quickly and simply and easily in the UI now. So I'm just going to click on this reassign all button and it's going to let me know what cases are being passed into the Salesforce flow. Um, I'm, first of all, of course, let me just select the agent. <laughs> so I've selected Ashley and it's going to pass in her name as the new owner. Should I go ahead and click on start the flow and then we would see that flow kicked off in Salesforce. But what I'm going to do is um, show you what that looks like in the back end. We go into our CRMA dashboard, we click on the text widget, we go to the interactivity and we can see that the, um, the click event is gonna kick off uh, this particular case. And that's been set up over here in the edit action dialog box. We've chosen reassign cases as the flow. We've mapped in our fields, and all of that again was done with clicks and not code. Uh, and from here, you can take advantage of all the power of Salesforce automation. You could involve uh, um, agents from a new exciting AI powered uh, agent force or whatever the case may be. But again, this new flow interactivity it will be a real help for you to be able to enable your users to go quickly from data to insight to action. Reach out if you have any questions about this at all. Thank you.